Hey, welcome guys. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to transfer files between an iPhone, iPod, or uh, iPad to a computer. Now, I have two different methods available. One is very basic just to get your photos and videos off, say your camera roll you've taken with your cell phone. The second method is using iTunes. So let's use the camera method first because that's what people use day to day. It's very easy, it takes a few seconds, and it will jump straight into the iTunes file sharing method. So the first thing you're going to need is your iOS device, and the second thing is your iOS cable. Now if you don't have the original cable, it's recommended to use one that is MFI certified. What that basically means is that it's made for iPhone or iOS certification. Uh, a lot of third-party wires that are not compatible tend to cause your devices to catch on fire, very dangerous, and it might not transfer files correctly. So if you need to find one of those, be sure to Google it up uh, correctly and just be safe. So, I'm going to connect the bottom lightning cable to your iOS device. So the second side is the USB port, which is going to go into USB port on your computer, just like that. Now, if it's the first time connecting your iOS device to your computer, or you haven't done it in a while, you might get a prompt on your iOS device here, asking you to trust the computer, or don't allow it. You're going to have to hit trust. So in this example, I'm going to be using Windows 10. So as you can see, I have my Apple iPhone device connected. I'm going to double click it and open it. And here I see the total space being used up. And if I open that, I'm going to see DCIM, which is basically where all the camera uh, footage and pictures is held. Open that again. So I'm going to have two folders here. So the reason I have this, some people might not, depends, is because this is my iCloud uh, data. So if I open it up, this is data that's synced from my iCloud back into the phone. So that's why you see it here. If I go back again, 100 Apple is where the new pictures and videos that I've just taken on my iPhone are stored locally. So all you want to do is select whatever you want. So I'll select these pictures, for example, paste it onto my desktop. And if I were to open it up, there's the, the picture. Okay. Now that's the easy method to get your pictures and videos off of your iOS device. Now there is something called uh, file sharing through iTunes. So what you basically do is again, I'm on a windows computer so you can download iTunes application from the windows store um, is hit this little icon right here. It looks like a little device. If you click that, it's going to show you all the information about your iOS device, the IME number, the serial number, space, what version of iOS is on, iCloud, all that good stuff. So what you want to do is just transfer files. So here it says file sharing on the left. If I click that, and you're going to see a couple of applications. Now the applications listed here are going to be different for you. Uh, you might have the same, you might have more, or you might have nothing. Only apps that are compatible with this file sharing feature will be listed here. So in this example, if I were to hit the numbers app, which I have on the iPhone, it's going to scan all files that are available. So I have this sample budget or simple budget rather. So I'm going to hit save and it's basically telling me which folder do you want to put it in. So if I go to this PC and then desktop, I'm going to save it on my desktop. Select folder. It's going to sync. There it goes. So it's sitting right here. Um, so let's say I want to add it back. Let's say I want to add a different file back into the numbers application. So what I can just do is let's just for a quick test. Hello world. So I'll rename this. So this does not exist on the iPhone right now. So I click back in here, hit add file, find hello world done. And it's going to be back on the iPhone. So that logic basically follows for the same thing for the iMovie app or any other application you might have here to add a file or save to your computer. Now, when you add a file back into your iOS device, there's a good chance it won't be detected. You won't just be able to use the numbers app and open it automatically. You have to manually look for it, which is pretty annoying, but I'm going to show you how to get that done. Okay. So in this example, we'll continue with opening numbers and this is the default view, which is recent, but I have to hit browse. And then from here, I'm going to choose, choose my storage location, which is on my iPhone because that's where I transferred it Then open the numbers folder. And from here, I'm going to find my hello world, which is this one. And it's going to open the file. So that's pretty much the same logic as any other uh, application, which is a little confusing, but at least now you guys know how to do that. So I hope you guys found this video useful. Be sure to check out my social links in the video description. Hit that like button. It does help. Subscribe. And thanks for watching.